స్విమ్ ఛానల్కి స్వాగతం గత గతంలో జరిగిన క్లాస్లో పేజ్ నెంబర్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ వన్లో ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫోర్ వరకు కంప్లీట్ చేయటం జరిగింది ఈరోజు ఎక్సర్సైజ్ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ వన్లో ఉన్న ప్రాబ్లమ్స్లో మీ ముందుకు వస్తున్నాను సో లెట్ మీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ విచ్ యూఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఇన్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ వన్ సో హియర్ ద ఫస్ట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఇన్ దట్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ ట్రాంగిల్ పీక్యూఆర్ ST is a line segment. How that line segment you are having in that triangle means in this way we are having that line segment. PS by SQ is equal to PT by TR. In that way we are having a line segment ST in this triangle PQR. That is you have been given in the problem. And one more information you are having here. One more information you are having here. What is that? Angle PST is equal to angle PRQ. these are the given information in this triangle by taking these informations which we need to prove what is we need to prove that means this triangle pqr is an isosceles triangle that one we need to prove so how can you prove a triangle is isosceles if you prove any two sides of the triangle are equal automatically the triangle is a isosceles triangle that's all now listen to me here the given part i am writing what is that given part in triangle pqr st is a line segment as ps by sq is equal to pt by tr and angle pst is equal to angle prq so required to prove triangle pq or is an isosceles triangle i am coming to proof now to prove the proof part the clue which you have been given in given part that one we need to take so what is it in triangle pqr ps by sq is equal to ptr by tr the line segment which is dividing two sides of a triangle in this way that line segment is parallel to third side of that triangle according to which condition according to converse of basic proportionality theorem listen to me in this triangle in this triangle you are having a line segment st how it is dividing these two sides of this triangle means ps by sq equal pt by tr in that way that line segment is dividing these two sides of this triangle okay here we can apply converse of basic proportionality theorem so what is that converse of basic proportionality theorem the line segment which is dividing two sides of a triangle in the same ratio that line segment is parallel to third side of that triangle this is converse of basic proportionality theorem here we can write simply according to converse of basic proportionality theorem what can you say that line segment st is parallel to qr that's all now listen to me whenever you are considering these two line segments or parallel to each other you are having two transversals there what are the two transversals means one is uh, pq and another one is pr if pq is a transversal for these two line segments which are parallel to each other the part uh, sq in pq is also transversal for these two line segments okay so that one i am writing here st is parallel to qr 
okay so according to this condition which one you can write here this st is parallel to qr okay implies to angle pst is equal to angle pqr if these two line segments are parallel to each other how these two angles are equal because of if you consider this pq as transversal for these two line segments and these two angles are nothing but uh, uh, corresponding angles that's all so whenever we are having these two line segments are parallel the pair of angles which you are having as corresponding they are equal because of these two line segments are parallel that's all that's all so angle pst is equal to triangle uh, sorry angle pqr why you are writing these two angles are equal because of listen to me st is parallel to qr comma pq is transversal and these angles are corresponding angles corresponding angles that's all here this one i'm taking as equation 1 okay but given the triangle pst is equal to angle prq angle prq this one i am taking as 2 now listen to me in these two equations this uh, two left hand side parts are equal automatically we can write their respect to right hand side parts are equal if you write in that way from 1 and 2 angle pq or is equal to angle prq come to this figure now angle pq or that means angle pq or that means this angle come here is equal to angle prq come to the figure angle prq that means this angle that means in this triangle these two angles are equal so here in a triangle if two angles are equal the sides which are opposite to them are also equal what is the side opposite to this angle pr what is the side opposite to this angle pq they are equal this is one property in triangles okay so according to this step simply you can write the side which is opposite to triangle pqr pr is equal to the side which is opposite to angle prq that is pq these two sides are equal but how you are writing this step that reason you need to write in a triangle if two angles are equal then the sides opposite to them are also equal yes in a triangle if two sides are equal that a triangle is isosceles so according to this step we can write triangle pqr is an isosceles triangle hence proved come to continuation problem 2 in exercise 8.1 so here the problem is in the given figure lm is parallel to cb and ln is parallel to cd this is the given figure in this figure this lm is parallel to bc and this ln is parallel to cd like this uh, like in that way these two information you have been given in the problem but now what we need to prove means 
am by ab is equal to an by ad so am by ab is equal to an by ad that one we need to prove so first of all here i am writing the given part so what is the given part here what is the given part here now listen to me the given part is in the adjacent figure in this adjacent figure s yes, lm is parallel to cb and ln is parallel to cd next after that required to prove what we need to prove here we need to prove am by ab is equal to an by ad this one we need to prove now i am coming to proof part according to given first we need to consider triangle abc in this triangle abc lm is parallel to bc like you have been given the information listen to me in a triangle if a line segment is parallel to any one of the three sides of that triangle that line which you are uh, taking parallel to the third side can divide the remaining two sides in the same ratio according to basic proportionality theorem so here simply we can apply basic proportionality theorem now listen to me given the first condition what is it lm is parallel to cb or bc according to basic proportionality theorem according to basic proportionality theorem where in triangle abc in triangle abc in this triangle abc okay lm is parallel to cb according to basic proportionality theorem in this triangle abc we can write am by mb is equal to al by lc or al by lc is equal to am by mb i am writing al by lc is equal to am by mb this one i am taking as equation 1 next in given part the second condition i am taking what is the second condition given ln is parallel to cd ln is parallel to this ln is parallel to cd now we need to consider this triangle what is the name of the triangle triangle acd here also according to basic proportionality theorem in a triangle if a line segment is parallel to any one of the three sides of the triangle that uh, parallel line can divide the remaining two sides of the triangle in the same ratio according to basic proportionality theorem that one we can use okay now <clears throat> ln is parallel to cd okay according to basic proportionality theorem in which triangle in triangle acd in triangle acd how can you write al by lc equal to an by nd that's all al by lc is equal to an by nd this one i am taking as equation 2 if you observe these two equations 
their respective left hand side parts are equal according to that we can write uh, in these two equations their respective right hand sides are equal so from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 am by mb is equal to an by nd here strongly one thing we need to keep in your mind you need to remember in your mind for these ratios we need to take uh, their reciprocals okay by taking reciprocals on both sides then mb by am is equal to nd by an now we need to add one on both sides by adding one on both sides then listen to me mb by am plus 1 is equal to nd by an plus 1 the remaining part of this problem of this proof I am solving here ok so listen to me mb by am plus 1 is equal to nd by am plus 1 if you take lcm for this part you get am as its lcm in numerator part what can you get mb plus am into 1 am that means mb plus am by am mb plus am by am that is equal to in the same way lcm of this right hand side part is an and in numerator's place you can get nd plus 1 into an an that means nd plus an by an nd plus an by an now listen to me here mb this part for that we need to add am this part by adding these two supports you can get the line segment main ab by am that is equal to now dn this part plus an this part by adding these two supports you get ad that means ad by this an you can write as it is but if you compare the formation which you get here with required to prove that is entirely in reversing order for that you need to prove exactly the formation which you get for this we need to consider the reciprocals on both sides okay by taking reciprocals on both sides then am by AB is equal to AN by AD. Hence, proved. Okay. Just listen to me. This problem also we can solve in an another way, which is very simple to the students. Let me teach. Uh, 
that uh, alternate method for you okay just simply listen to me lm is parallel to bc okay this is a triangle in a triangle if a line segment is parallel to any one of the three sides of the triangle that line segment can divide the remaining two sides in the same ratio that same ratio are also in three ways what are the three ways means am by mb equal to al by lc or am by ab equal to al by ac or mb by ab equal to lc by ac in that way that means in this uh, that means the three ways actually we are having in these three ways any one of the way you can use here according to the proof i am taking am by ab is equal to al by lc okay so in triangle abc lm is parallel to bc according to basic proportionality theorem how can you write am by ab is equal to al by ac this one i am taking as equation 1 similarly simply you can write here similarly in triangle now we need to consider this triangle what is the name of the triangle acd now in triangle acd here also nc is parallel to dc uh, ln is parallel to dc here also you can apply the basic proportionality theorem if you apply in that way similarly we can get that means here also listen to me in three ways we can take the ratio what are the, the three ways means first way is al by lc equal to an by nd or al by ac equal to an by ad or lc by ac equal to nd by ad but uh, which one is preferable for you to prove the proof that one you can consider here so here i am taking al by ac is equal to an by nd or an by nd equal to an by ad equal to al by ac like in that way also you can take so here i am taking an by nd is equal to an by nd no an by not nd ad yes an by an by ad is equal because of we had followed that same ratio in this triangle the ratio which had been followed by you for this triangle that same ratio here also you need to follow according to that an by ad equal to s al by ac al by ac so this one i am taking as equation 2 if you observe these two equations they respect to right hand side parts are equal so from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 their respect to lhss are also equal that means this equation of uh, left hand side part is am by ab that is equal to yes here this respect to part of uh, left hand side an by ad an by ad that's all in this way also we can prove the proof hence proved okay right this is the proof uh, for second problem alternate method simply you are having only how many steps here uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 approximately but this is also this is also the correct method okay uh, whatever it is you can follow the method to prove the proof now come to third problem that is 
in the given figure in the given figure d is parallel to ac where is de yes here we are having de that is parallel to ac now we need to consider the main triangle in this main triangle abc if a line segment is parallel to any one of the three sides of the triangle that line segment can divide the remaining two sides in the same ratio according to basic proportionality theorem that one you need to keep aside in your mind next df is also parallel to ae this condition also you are uh, you are uh, uh, you are giving okay where is df yes this is df is parallel to ae so when df is parallel to ae then you need to consider this triangle what is the name of the triangle triangle abe in this triangle also one line segment is parallel to one side of that uh, uh, triangle then the line segment which is parallel that can divide the remaining two sides in the same ratio according to basic proportionality theorem by taking the two equations the required to prove the part which you are having that can be proved by you okay now listen to me here given in the adjacent figure in the adjacent figure d is parallel to ac d is parallel to ac and df is parallel to ae that's all so what we need to prove here required to prove that is bf by F E is equal to B by E C. That one we need to prove. Now come to proof. So here in the given part, the first clue I am taking that is D is parallel to A C. Okay, so D is parallel to A C means now we need to consider triangle A B C. Okay, so this is given. Okay, as yes, now in triangle ABC, according to basic proportionality theorem, how can you write D is parallel to AC? DB by sorry, BD by DA equal to B by E C B D by D A okay B D by D A is equal to B E by E C B E by E C this one I am taking as equation one again the second clue in the given part we need to consider now. That is DF is parallel to AE. This is also have been given in the problem. So given. Now DF is parallel to AE. DF is parallel to AE. So now we need to consider this triangle. In this triangle ABE, one line segment is parallel to any one of the three sides of this triangle. Then that line segment which is parallel. That can divide the remaining two sides in the same ratio according to basic proportionality theorem. Yes. Now, simply you can write in triangle ABE. In triangle ABE, according to basic proportionality theorem. According to basic proportionality theorem how can you write bd by da equal to bf by fe okay bd by da is equal to what is that bd by da is equal to bf by fe bf by fe 
this is equation 2 in these two equations their respective left hand side parts are equal now we can write as their right hand side parts are also equal so from 1 and 2 be by ec is equal to how can you write bf by fe this one also you can write as in this way bf by fe is equal to be by ec this is the part actually we need to prove that's all hence proved that's all okay so actually today uh, you have been solved by me three problems in exercise 8.1 okay so subscribe our swim channel and uh, as well as you need to do like uh, this channel and if you have any doubts you need to comment your doubts on your whatsapp uh, uh, to my uh, whatsapp mobile number i can clarify the doubts uh, on the screen or in live okay keep watching swim, uh, swim channel thank you everyone for watching uh, this channel have a good day Thank you. Bye.